This, uh, this is something I'd like to do, because um, it's, a, it's a bit of a cause of mine, really. And I, I don't know whether I can do it, because it depends whether there are any of you in the audience tonight. And, uh, <laughs> I know there's one or two. Um, and, uh, but I didn't, it, and if there are enough of you, then I can do it, really. Are there in the audience tonight any, any at all, Magic Roundabout fans? <laughs> Oh, goody. Oh. Well, thank you. Um, as you know, they've taken Magic Roundabout off the screens, and um, shame. Tragic, as you, as you know. And uh, they started putting on these silly... Uh, have you seen Parsley? Have you seen that? <laughs> How about Hector's House? That's a good name. <laughs> Bloody rubbish it is. <laughs> it's for kids, isn't it, when you think about it? Anyway, I, I've been down to London and uh, to see if Magic Roundabout's coming back, and apparently it is. And um, I, I sort of spoke to the people down there, you know, the, the BBC, you know, the BBC, they all talk like that. You know, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the cleaner, yeah. <laughs> so I was, uh, I, I was asking a few questions, and I nicked into this room, and um, I saw this uh, cabinet with Magic Roundabout painted all over it, and I started looking through it, and there was lots of scripts I hadn't seen, because I've seen all the episodes. And uh, so I thought, obviously, it's coming back. So I nicked one, and, um, and I copied it all out, and what I'd like to do for you tonight is a preview of one of the uh, scripts of the new series <laughs> of Magic Roundabout. Thank you very much. Hello, children. It's quarter to six, and time once again for Magic Roundabout. <laughs> I wonder where Florence is, said Dougal. I'm over here, said Florence. Hello, Florence, said Dougal. Hello, Dougal, said Florence. <laughs> Boy! Florence and Dougal, said Zebedee. Hello, Zebedee, said Dougal and Florence. Hello, Zebedee, Florence and Dougal. <laughs> said Dylan. <laughs> Hello, Dylan. <laughs> said Zebedee, Florence and Dougal. <laughs> I say, said Dylan, what, said Dougal? Boy! Pardon, said Zebedee. Nothing, said Dougal. I wasn't talking to you, said Zebedee. Oh, said Dougal. Dylan, said Dougal. Yes, said Dylan. I wonder if Florence is a virgin. <laughs> Drop some for certain, said Dylan. <laughs> Boy! That's right enough, said Zebedee. <laughs> How do you know, said Dylan? Boy! Well, to my knowledge, half of Toy Town knows of her horizontal pleasures. And let's face it, Noddy's the biggest ram around here, and he reckons he's scored. <laughs> Said Zebedee. <laughs> I can hear you, said Florence. It's not true. Noddy and I are just good friends. <laughs> Rubbish, said Dougal. It's all over the canteen. <laughs> Everyone knows about you, you brazen hussy, you lousy old flea bag, said Florence. <laughs> Call yourself a dog, I've seen better hair on a lavatory brush. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> now look here, said Zebedee, things are getting out of hand. Let's get back to the storyline. It's a crummy story anyway, said Dougal stubbly. Boing! No, it's not, said Zebedee commandingly. Who cares, said Dylan dejectedly. Well, I like it, said Florence, hopefully. <laughs> That's obvious, said everybody, cockily. Boy! Now look, said Zebedee, let's try and get it together. Well, I'm not working with that fat bat anymore, said Dougal. I'm off to join the flower pot men, so there. Good riddance, said Florence. Knickers, said Dougal. That's no way to talk to a lady, said Dylan, knowing when he's on to a good thing. <laughs> Some lady, said Dougal. Ah, oh, piss off, said Dylan. <laughs> And Dougal did so all over Florence.
Thank you for sticking up for me, said Florence. <laughs> oh, it's nothing really, said Dylan. <laughs> You know, I fancied you for a long time, said Florence. I fancied you too, said Dylan. Where do we go from here, said Florence? Boy! Time for bed, said Dylan. <laughs> <laughs>